This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. Probably one of the most physical games of all the Missouri Valley Conference games. It's more than just the players, it's, it's the past players, it's the, the communities, it's the states, you know, there's a lot that goes into the rivalry. There's no better feeling than going out and getting that rock after the game. For the 104th time since 1903, the North Dakota State Bison and the South Dakota State Jackrabbits will square off with a Dakota marker on the line. It's just a really hard-nosed game, and you know, I think it takes, it takes you a couple years to really kind of understand what it's about. Um, and I think even looking back in a, in a couple years, I'll really understand it a little more. North Dakota State has won the last seven meetings, including a narrow escape in the FCS playoffs last season. But they've all been, had some adversity to them. Number of could have gone either way. Comes down to a play here and there. Um, I think it brings the best out in both teams. This game is also a chance for each team to begin conference play 1-0 in the Missouri Valley. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, this is like no other conference in the FCS and it's it's a cutthroat league. You can't start in the hole in the valley and that was uh, something big that our coaches were preaching so it's big for us that we got to start strong in this game. Last week the Bison held North Dakota to 61 total yards, the lowest amount in 41 years but the Bison feel there's still room to grow moving forward. Just getting them game reps is just huge and not for the young guys, even for myself who hasn't had a ton of experience, but um, just growing with each game. Um, I think our comfortability is getting better each game, but now we're getting into the valley. Awaiting the snap, here it is, belt high and good, and he's sacked! Keenan Tutsgrove is taken down by Aaron Steinle. That is what North Dakota State will need to do if they want to stop a South Dakota State offense that is led by junior quarterback Zach Lujan which ranks fourth in the FCS in team passing yards. The kid's a great player, and he's going to keep making plays no matter what, you know, so we just got to slow him down, and uh, we got to get sacks. The Jackrabbits did lose their all-time leader in rushing yards in Zach Zinner, but still have a big play threat in sophomore receiver Jake Winicky, who stands at an impressive six foot four and is top five in the FCS in receiving yards and touchdowns. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player. Um, seeing him on film, uh, he uses his body really well. He catches the ball better than anybody I've ever seen. Play action pass, deep drop by West. Fires deep. Urzadowski is open at the goal line. Touchdown, Bison! In the past two games, the Bison offense has put up 963 total offensive yards. However, NDSU will be going up against the Jackrabbit defense that is only allowing 19 points a contest. They're always in good position. I think they. In, in the run game, for our run game, I think they're very sound with their fits and, and who's got which, uh, which gap. Kickoff is scheduled for 6 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on Midcoast Sports Network, NBC North Dakota, or ESPN3. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.